Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. We're very, very uh, grateful. Hope you guys are doing all right. And may stay blessed. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to check it out. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there to say hi and we'll say hi back. Vlogging channel Fanny and Jesse 2.0 subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out so today i'm going to be reacting to dr zakina he challenged the woman in qatar that he will accept christianity if she can prove this so without wasting time let's get into the video do you believe the bible is the word of god i know bible more than you right there is one thing to know the Bible, there is another thing to have the revelation of the Bible. Because you know, even when Jesus came, the people who did not understand who he was were religious leaders. They missed big time. Sister, they did not know who he was because Sister, he was hidden. And the work of the New Testament. Place in the Bible where the un un unambiguous statement, unequivocal statement, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, said, I am God, or if I say worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. Simple challenge. And you can't show one verse from this big book of the Bible. Can I ask you a question, sir? Can you separate yourself from your work? Sorry? Can you separate Dr. Zakai Knight from his work? Can you separate Dr. Can you separate Zaka? yourself from your work? But what difference does it make whether I can or whether I cannot? You see, you don't get it. Jesus is the word of God made flesh. But what? religious mind is too big for five senses. Jesus is the word of God and himself he is God. The Bible every, says he gave him the name me that is above every other name, every, which is the word of God. Every messenger gets the word of God. Moses was the word of God. Jesus was the word of God. Abraham was the word of God. Prophet Muhammad is the word of God. Question. So what is the problem? Which of every the messenger, messenger did what at this time is the word of God. What is so different about Jesus? Peace be upon him. You the cannot difference. point out a single statement from your Bible where Jesus said, I'm God or where he says, worship me. I have, and now I have an answer for that, sir. Since the, the beginning of the word of, of the Bible, till the time of Jesus, tell me any of the messenger you call who was capable to cast out devils, to heal the sick. Why? Because in the beginning, it was only God who had power to deal with the devil from the fall of, the, from, of man in the garden of Eden. But these things were hidden for salvation of men. If a person takes out devils from a person, does he become God? Today, there are many people who do Rukia. Yes, I do the same. They don't become God. Translated into the kingdom of God's dear son. Today, Bell sister, there are many human beings, even in Qatar, you have who can do Rukia and can take out devil from the human being. Because that doesn't they, make them God. Does it make them God? They got that power from Jesus. I cast out devils myself oh, in the are, name of Jesus. Oh, so you also become God now? No, I, I have been translated of my faith in Jesus. The I Bible agree says, with you. you. Listen. You, Jesus Christ, peace be upon you, if you read the Bible, in the Gospel, when he gives life to the dead Lazarus, he prays to Almighty God. Every miracle Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did, he did in the name of God. He didn't do on his own. If Same you would give me time, says. I will explain to all these congregations Sorry, we don't have, we don't have the time. You can hire the hall and tomorrow give a lecture. This is a question you and not me. Okay, can we have the next question? Zakir Naik went to Qatar and he will be giving lectures and Q&A sessions during this whole time of World Cup. And this woman was challenging Dr. Zakir Naik and she was not trying to understand anything. She was just saying whatever she wanted to say and just keep arguing. She was not understanding the facts. She's just saying whatever she wants to say and just challenging out of nowhere to Dr. Zakir Naik. MashaAllah, Dr. Zakir made her understood that what you are telling is not correct. Go to Bible and see in the Bible is there anywhere written where Isa salam, peace be upon him, said that to worship him. He never said that. He said to worship God. He didn't say he is God. But this woman doesn't want to understand, just keeps quarreling. My brothers and sisters, وَقُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقَّ وَذَهَقَ الْبَاتِلْ إِنَّ الْبَاتِلَ كَانَ زَهُوكَ 
when the truth comes this falsehood it washes away it goes away and falsehood is there to be washed away and islam is the truth islam is the only religion islam is the true religion and islam is the final religion of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all the prophets from muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to adam alayhi salam all of them are sent by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to spread his deen to preach his deen none of them are gods they are all messengers of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala An interesting video to watch. I hope more clips will be posted of the question and answer and um, hope the people that are watching or attending this learn one or two things. Uh, anyone can watch this video and say both of them are just speaking for the sake of speaking, you know. And I feel like every question is a good question because there is something someone is trying to learn. Whether it feels like an attack or not i feel like there's really really something to learn you know you leave home attend something and ask whatever you, you want to ask there's really something you're seeking in that uh congregation you know and i feel like i don't know how this question and answer is actually taking place is it a back and forth or you ask a question someone explains to you after they explain to you you respond or what because this seemed like a confrontation of course because but both of them kept on going back and forth but i don't know she according to whatever she believes in whatever she was saying was valid according to what dr ziki naik believes in whatever he was saying is valid so if we've got both people here that are not willing to ford and see where the other person is coming from there will always be these clashes of i think jesus is god tell me why jesus said i am god you know and everyone fails to answer that question everyone fails to answer that question at least recognize that yes J jesus did not say i am god anywhere in the bible first acknowledge that you know that's when bringing your other points to support where you're coming from and dr zakina ik as well who we use whatever points he believes in knows to support that Jesus was not God at the end of the day you know and um I'm, I don't know you know I can't honestly can't support anyone I feel like as long as you're there to ask a question there's something that made you stand up from home to come ask Dr Zaki Naik a question there's something you want to learn and i find question and answer sessions quite joyful to watch if i should say let me know what you guys actually think what are your thoughts on this video do you think the woman was too much do you think dr zaki naik answered her the way you would have wanted to answer her or had to be answered let me know down below please if there's anything you want me to react to give me the name or the link in the comment section below and i'll be sure to check it out uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.